All right, going to do the video here about Greg Miller. I was sent this by a brother, and uh, it's very important to expose Miller for this. He's an absolute heretic on this. Include this study of Philippians chapter 1, verses 1 through 6, titled, God's Good Work in You. This is part 2 of 2. I have to move quickly. I don't want to keep you here all day, but this is just something that's crazy going on. A bunch of novices on the YouTube and, and TBN and all this. They just they don't know what they're doing. Uh, it's funny because Ruckman taught that Jesus Christ is the Father. God the Father. Novice, huh? It, Jesus is not God the Father. Say that with me if you believe it. Jesus is not God the Father. Say that with me if you believe it. You wicked devil, you. Let's continue. There is a there's a growing, I guess, group of nincompoops running around town everybody that Jesus and God the Father are the same. Jesus said, I and my Father are one. He didn't say they're the same. How so one is not the same. And I'll go on to talk about marriage here and things. Uh, I don't think Jesus is married to God the Father. You know, real good analogy there, Greg. How many of you know the difference? Being one, you and your wife, you and your spouse are supposed to be one flesh, but you're not the same. You still have to have your own social security card for the New World Order, amen? <laughs> Jesus said, I and my Father are one. But Jesus is called the Lord in this text. Now look at it again. From God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Two titles for the same being. All right. You don't get that there, do you, though, Greg? Got to defend that Catholic Trinity. Look at that big three-letter word right in the middle there. And. That means they're not the same. No, it means that there are two titles for the same being. There's God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Y'all remember whenever Jesus was baptized? He was in the water. A voice from heaven spoke. And then a dove came and landed on him representing the Spirit. Yeah, yeah, uh, a dove came and landed on him representing the Spirit? You liar. You're a liar, Greg Miller. Let's look up the word dove. There you have the one in Genesis about after the flood in the days of Noah. Down through here. All right. Matthew chapter 3 verse 16. And Jesus when he was baptized went up straightway out of the water and lo the heavens were opened unto him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. Descending like a dove. Doesn't say he was a dove. Descending like a dove. He runs like the wind. Doesn't mean he's the wind. He runs like lightning. The thing moves like lightning. Doesn't mean it's lightning. Maybe take a little course on English there. Mark chapter 1 verse 10. And the spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. Doesn't say the spirit was a dove. Like and the Holy Ghost descended in bodily shape like a dove upon him. Like a dove. Coming down like a dove. It is not saying that he was a dove. Like a dove. If he was a dove, it would just say a dove. Not like a dove. Do you understand that? Again in John, all four Gospels have this thing. I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove. All four times it says, like a dove. Like a dove, like a dove, like a dove. Greg Miller lied. It's interesting here too because I don't have the page marked, but I was looking through this stupid book by James White, this, this uh, Forgotten Trinity recommended by uh, his two Jesuit buddies. Here you see James White. And you have... Uh, Mitchell Packwell here, SJ, Society of Jesus. He is an actual Jesuit. Right there. If I can get that on camera there. Mitchell Packwell. And over here you have Norman Geisler. 
another Jesuit, trained at two different Jesuit edu uh, institutions. But James White actually says he mocks the thing of, you know, the biblical Godhead that Jesus Christ is God the Father. And he says, you know, when he was baptized, was he doing a ventriloquist act? You know, when he, you hear the voice of God, the Father coming from heaven, no, the soul was in heaven. Right? That's fairly easy to understand if you're a Bible-believing Christian. It's not some separate God in heaven and God being baptized and God descending like a dove. That's paganism. That's three separate gods. But listen, to this. Greg will use the exact same thing that James White says in his book. It's kind of peculiar. These nuts seem to be saying that Jesus is a ventriloquist. He's standing in the water, throwing his voice, This is my son, and who I am well pleased. Hear ye him. See how a fraud joint pastor will actually mock, you know, the Bible? They'll mock what actually happened. It wasn't Jesus throwing his voice. It was the soul, God the Father in heaven, the soul speaking down there. Body, soul, and spirit can separate. That's the mystery of godliness. But it's one. Jesus is one God. Not God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Bible doesn't teach that. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. <laughs> Jesus isn't a ventriloquist. The Father is in heaven. Okay. So then you have a God in heaven and a God on earth. Two gods. And the third God descended down like a dove. You're teaching three gods. And he'll deny it. Well, I'm not teaching three gods. Watch. Speaking of the Son who is on earth. And then the Spirit descending. Now that's the Trinity. You can't explain it. And the, the, the That's the Trinity. That doesn't say that in Scripture, Miller. You're a liar. That's a papal word, a Catholic word. It is not in the King James Bible. Why would you use it? That's the Trinity. The people who fall into this nonsense think they can explain God. I got news for uh, You just got done explaining God there, Miller. You stinking hypocrites, you. Oh, the, the people that fall into this heresy think that they can explain God. What do you do with your Catholic Trinity teaching? For you. If your God is so small that you and your little pea brain can explain Him, you got the wrong God. Amen. Stop with the idea that God can be explained in words. <laughs> what you're doing right now, Craig? <laughs> All we do is do our best to kind of put our thumb on it. But we don't understand God. He, the Father is God. The Son is God. The Holy Ghost is God. But there are not three gods. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Jesus is on the earth. God the Father is in heaven, um, and so Jesus is not God the Father, but he's not a separate God. He's the same God, but he's not the same God. Stupid, heretical nonsense is what this is. You know, you know Jesus is God, the, God the Father is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. Um, okay, could you please give me some scripture that says God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I've been offering this challenge to all these fraudulent uh, Trinity people. Not one of them has ever been able to, you know, come through it. They can't. There is one God in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. These three are one. Amen. Amen. Not the same. Amen. One. Now, some people skip right over that verse, and it's evident because later on then they teach against it. That's why we teach every verse. Amen? Amen. <laughs> That's mind control. Being in Baptist churches for years and years and years, they'll lie to you so many times and they'll say, Amen, Amen, Amen. And you get the faithful few there in the congregation. They go, Amen, preach it, Amen, Amen. So it reinforces the heresy that was just taught. I've been around that thing for years and years and years. It's disgusting. Look at just real quick, run around a few references. In Matthew 12, 29, uh, 29 says, And Jesus answered him, 
the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Amen? Amen? Then 1 Corinthians 8, 6. But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in Him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by Him. Amen. And that seems to be a contradiction. Because he said, wait a minute, there's one God that's the Father. Then he says there's one Lord, Jesus Christ. But we just read back here that it says the Lord our God is one Lord. No, it's, it's not a problem if you believe in the Godhead. But if you believe in the Catholic Trinity, well, you have to twist the Scriptures and get all philosophical. How does that make sense? Trinity. Amen. How does it make sense? Trinity. Catholic. Trinity. Use a Catholic word. doesn't appear in the King James Bible. That's the way we describe it. What did he say earlier about, you know, you're not supposed to describe it if you think it's your, it, it, you're smart enough to explain God and how the whole thing works? But he's doing it right here. You stinking lying hypocrite. You know, I'm glad I don't have the comments open because Greg Miller would probably come in and cuss me out. Guy's got a foul mouth. I had to block videos and stop videos and things because of this horrible stuff that this man was writing in the comments. Oh, it's a, oh, he's a Bible-believing preacher. Yeah, until totally you make him mad. And I've had so many people over the years, well, I defended this idiot here. I defended him over and over and over again, saying, oh, I think he's saved, I think he's saved. And people write and saying, brother, do you realize what he's written to me? And they send me the, the links and things. I can't even repeat the filthy language that this man uses. Not just profanity, but I'm talking sexually perverted things like you would not believe disgusting, despicable things that I never even said as a lost man. But he's, he's a Christian. He's a fine Christian, a, a preacher, Bible-believing preacher. Just don't make him mad, because then he'll cuss you out. That's it. That's why we have a doctrine called the Trinity. Oh, well, yeah, that's why we have a doctrine called the Trinity. Okay, then you're Catholic. Because Bible believers don't have a doctrine called the Trinity, because it's not in our King James Bible. 2 Samuel 22, 32 says, For who is God save the Lord? You see, if you go back here and you try to make God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ uh, the same, it doesn't make sense. But then... Yes, it does. What? Of course it makes sense. Then you look at it, it appears like they're, one is God and the other is the Lord. But then the Bible says, God is the Lord. And the Lord is... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's proving the Godhead, stupid. Not proving that they're three separate gods, but one God, but not one God because they're three separate gods. God. And Jesus is the Lord. Hey, get that? 1 Corinthians 12, 3, wherefore, wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed. Amen? Amen. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. And there you have the great separation between biblical Christianity and false religions. They won't call him Lord in the sense of deity. They will not call him God. That's what false religions come down to. Um, but let me get this straight there, Miller. Um, Jesus is not the Father. Okay? Um, well, then he can't be God. Oh, no, but he's God, but he's not God the Father. Well, then that's two. But no, it's one. Three gods, but one. Messed up. So that's it. I watched a little bit more, but I just stopped it and said, okay, I didn't say much more about the whole Trinity thing. But um, there's no reason to so stubbornly stand by this false teaching, this Catholic Trinity thing. Um, because, you know, those of us who know the Bible, novices, uh, that includes Peter Ruckman which Greg Miller supposedly, uh, you know, thinks highly of and everything. Uh, Ruckman did not teach the Catholic Trinity concept. He taught that Jesus Christ uh, in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So, stay away from Greg Miller.
he's false. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that matter.